Riding the train in China is a very easy experience, especially when you have no prior experience. All you have to do is simply buy the ticket and you're, you're all set, basically. Now, there are three different classes for bullet trains. There's the G, D, and C types of trains, and all these three are bullet trains, but the G being the fastest with almost no stops compared to like D, it has multiple stops. Pictured above is the Suzhou train station. This is the main station, which has multiple tracks, multiple lines, connecting very many cities. Uh, on these train stations, there's few security checks. Basically, you put your luggage in and you're all set. And it's very convenient compared to aircraft or bus travel. These trains could reach speeds of up to 250 miles per hour, but recently the Chinese government has slowed down these trains as potential hazards have occurred and most of them travel up to like 225 or 210 depending on the route. The schedules of the bullet trains can vary, but most often on frequently traveled routes such as the Shanghai Nanjing Intercity Railway, Trains come as often as 20 minutes, but on others, it can take roughly an hour. <laughs> Sometimes there are no seats available, so you would be able to purchase a standing room ticket, which tutters you to stand. On the bullet trains themselves, there are three classes. There is the economy class or this class pictured. There is first class and business class. Interesting to note that business class is the highest class of service compared to first class and the business class seat entitles you to club service as well as a fully flat, flat, flat bed. It's a bit of these. have a dining car and provide you can call or board the train so kind of convenient. Now in China there are also slow trains which are more to geared towards budget friendly travelers and they are lower in price compared to the bullet train. It is interesting to note that sometimes the bullet trains don't run especially at night in many cities due to the fact that they cause tremendous amount of noise compared to these slow trains. I'm gonna ask him. Slow trains are often very crowded and if you don't mind just staring across at your neighbor you won't like this experience at all. It's very cramped and the bathrooms are really stink so hopefully you don't end up in this experience. As you can see many people are around and it's not enjoyable especially due to the fact they don't turn on heating or AC and people stink so it sucks. <laughs> The seats on these slow trains are hard as a rock and they are not enjoyable at all. Even after an hour my butt was hurting like crap so try not try to avoid these seats as much as you can. You can often buy these tickets in advance using websites such as C Trip or China Travel Guide where they offer many deals and discounts. Or you could even go up to the station, which is recommended because sometimes you don't have access to this, especially in China itself. It's very easy to buy a ticket, especially if you don't understand Chinese language, as there are English speaking countries and many of the ticket agents will be able to help you. So long, travelers. 50 kilometers an hour. Now it only goes 305. Yeah. Why? Because one of them. Thank <laughs> you.